Kevin, I know you were eventually released from, from jail, and just last Saturday, the FBI arrested a man named Everett Dushke for sending these letters. Now, according to an FBI affidavit, agents found traces of the toxic substance ricin in his martial arts studio. You had a relationship with this man. How did you two know each other? He, he came down, from my understanding, from North or South Carolina and got a job working for my older brother in the insurance business. My ex-wife uh, was his manager. So you have my older brother, my ex-wife, and he asked to be placed into her unit. And the first question he asked her was, what was it like being married to Kevin Curtis? And I, I asked her, didn't you think that was odd? Of course, it was later after the fact. I, didn't you, she didn't tell me for months that he was questioning her and other people around town about me. So he about was, you? What, so what, what did he have to, against you? To this day, I don't know. There's just bad blood between you all. You had some kind of disagreement and it just escalated. Is that what happened? That's, as far as I understand, I have a lot of questions myself and I'm thinking maybe I'll, I'll understand more uh, as the as trial the case, goes yeah. on and unfolds and I'll, get, and I'll get to put the pieces of the puzzle together. But do you, do you think this guy was trying to frame you? On the outside looking in now, yes. I, I've been asked that a hundred times by reporters over the last few days and I've been very careful. I've said, you know, I don't know, I don't know, but from now getting out, looking at the papers, the, you know, the TV and hindsight is twenty twenty. so yeah, I'm putting it all together. Last, It's been eight years and he, he would call people up and say, Kevin Curtis is going to be performing for your festival. He's a bad guy. You don't want to hire him. And people started canceling contracts for the first time in 30 years.